Hey Gemini's, this is your mid-month reading for January 2021. Some will rise to be in sun. Let's go ahead and jump in, Gemini's. We're going to be getting a message of guidance from Spirit first for you here, Gemini. Then we're going to take a look at your overall energy. We're also going to look at love, both couples and singles okay then we'll look at work if you have a job and you're looking for another one if you don't have a job okay and you're looking for one what the outcome will be and we'll see what's going on with the people that want to be financially independent and entrepreneurial okay pardon just said that wrong an entrepreneur <laughs> Um, we're going to see what the outcome or uh, what you need to know in that area as well here, Gemini, okay? And then we'll close off with what you need to know from now until the end of January. Give me the cards here for Gemini. Sun rising and Venus sign. Okay, Gemini. <laughs> You know, before I started your reading here, Gemini, I kept hearing go within, go within, okay? And you have the goddess of the moon coming in here. So they're wanting you to really listen to your intuition, okay? The moon is all about your intuition. Um, but I feel like whatever is unknown or whatever you're unsure about here for the rest of January, if you go within, if you take some time to meditate, I did this this morning, y'all. <laughs> okay, Gemini, I did it this morning. Um, and I often do this, but I usually do it at night. But today I just was in my closet and I sat down and I forced myself. Okay. Sometimes I feel like we have to force ourselves to stop for two, three, you know, <clears throat> five to 10 minutes to um, just collect ourselves and breathe and just stop our minds, slow it down just a little bit. Okay, so I feel like that is what spirit um, is telling you guys to do, possibly slow down and meditate, okay, so that you can go within and resolve any um, issues you may have, okay, gain knowledge or wisdom uh, from your higher self in regards, to, in regards to whatever questions, okay, you may have here for the rest of January. Here we go. Okay, anxiety. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's okay. And you have patience, have patience right now at this moment. So this patience card here and this anxiety, it feels almost like Gemini, you guys feel like you're running out of time or you should have been, um, you should have uh, reached, reached a certain level by now. That's what I'm feeling for some of you guys here. Okay. Uh, yeah, you have the anxiety and the patience card coming in. So with this card and the clock that's sitting there. I feel like this sort of over her solar plexus chakra that just kind of uh, came into me. Okay. The solar plexus chakra. I feel almost um, you're wanting to move towards something right now at this moment. But Spirit is saying have patience with yourself. Some of you guys may uh, be talking down. Okay. On yourself. Don't do that, Gemini. <laughs> um Yes, talk positive words into your life, okay? Po uh, speak positively over your life, over your future. That's what I'm trying to say here, okay? And with this card, they're saying um, have a peaceful presence, okay? Let go of any desperation. Try to let go of any anxiety, okay? You could do that through meditation. I said sometimes we have to slow down and just breathe. <laughs> and I feel like that's what spirit is telling you guys to do because i feel really rushy like i tried to do your reading yesterday i felt really rushy really um ugh, the energy was so hype okay um and that's what i feel like some of you guys are going through today just uh feeling like you're running out of time doing things last minute possibly okay um just trying to catch up with yourself getting really anxious about possibly a lot of things in your life okay bills and uh aspirations or your desires or something like that okay or significant other or some situation you're you're really anxious about okay so um here with patience here gemini let's get back into your card they're saying it's time for you to possibly uh release okay the old tendency or urgency uh type of feeling that you have inside it's time to possibly release that and look at things with a clearer type of uh perspective yes okay 
they're saying don't for don't force your will okay and cause this in anxiety be flexible uh, towards change and be flexible towards the things that are happening in your life I feel in some way spirit is saying those things are happening for a reason and all of all of this worry and distress okay and increased stress that you put on yourself those are the things that you possibly need to re release and just take a moment and relax here okay you may want to do this periodically throughout the month of january just take breaks okay or you might find yourself um wanting to get into a routine some of you guys okay to do meditation or you need to incorporate that type of behavior in your life here okay um to bring some balance towards your equilibrium yes mind body and spirit that's what i'm feeling here okay so they're saying here gemini when your heart dear <laughs> when your heart and your mind are relaxed here you're more likely to receive so the more that's that law of attraction you know when you are anxious about things when you're worried and stressed okay you bring more of that uh low vibrational energy into yourself and more things seem to happen and more things seem to go wrong uh so you need to release that and really have patience um uh, with yourself take some time to relax your mind okay possibly your bodies for some of you guys okay and and doing this type of action will help you get in touch with your higher self. It will connect you to uh, the divine as well, okay? Connect you back to spirit so that you can gain any insight over your life. That's the message that they have for you. I feel... <laughs> I'm getting chills, okay, for some reason when I read with these cards. Since I read the book, I just get chills every time I... um. I pulled this uh, this particular deck out. So, yeah, um, I feel definitely here that this angel is here letting you know that it's time to go within, okay? Um, and they're saying that you have the ability, ability to gain any insight that you really need at this moment. It could be big. It could be small. It could be an idea that you want to explore, okay? Possibly a book or a song you want to write. It could be anything that you want to be creative with. It, it also could be um, like if you want to uh, invest your money or put your money in I'm, for some reason some of my Gemini's you're thinking about real estate okay like you're thinking about some coins that's what I'm seeing here uh, through this card all right but spirit is saying kudos for you congratulations because those things can be blessed and will be blessed as soon as you put your focus on it here okay um i feel also that um they're saying get ready to connect with spirit here prepare yourself because here in january you're really going to be getting um possibly moments of uh I, for some reason, I'm feeling deja vu, okay? It feels almost like deja vu moments here. Like, oh man, I felt that before. This could be energy passing over from the past life as well. For some, some of you guys, that's a limited message for some of you. Okay, others, I feel like you'll be having... Um, seeing synchronicities and numbers or... Um, um, signs, okay? Pay attention to the signs here, okay? Numbers and... and I, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm trying to bring it out here, y'all. Okay. Um, symbols. That's what I'm trying to say. Symbols. Like if you keep seeing the same symbol here, like the infinity symbol. I said infinity. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, if you keep seeing just a, uh, different symbols, do some research. Google it. Okay. Google your angel numbers if you want to do that. Pay attention to what you're feeling like or what you're thinking about at that time. Okay. When you do see those um, moments of synchronicities. Okay. That's what I want to tell you guys. Let's go ahead and get the overall energy here for you. Gemini. here for Gemini summarizing the sign. What is the overall energy for Gemini? What should they be aware of? Or should they yeah, what should they be aware of? There we go. I'm gonna get it right. Gemini, here you have the Empress card. Look at your energy. 
Yes, I feel like you're very, you will be very powerful here this month. And Spirit wants you to focus possibly on growth here, okay? And like I said with the goddess of the moon here, pay attention to ideas that you have. Some of you guys are very intuitive. Some of you guys are very psychic, okay? You need to step on that throne, take a seat and put your crown on. <laughs> <laughs> put that crown on okay uh i feel definitely um there's gonna be a rebirth for some of you here uh that's the energy that is coming in as well like you're going to be moving up or elevating your your spirit will be elevating here okay and you'll step into uh something brand new some of you guys are clairvoyant you're clairsentient um clear audience okay you're going to exp uh tap into these powers here it's going to be very 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 powerful that's something else that i'm feeling here okay yes let's go in i want you to be aware of your own energy your own power here this month and learn how to utilize it okay possibly all of that anxiety that you're feeling is really your um spirit guys trying to connect with you and you um just really tapping into uh your intuition here okay you're getting anxious about it but no fears <laughs> you have the nine of cups here okay they're saying once you do this once you get over this fear or, or anxiety and uh switch up your energy here okay take a moment to tap into your higher self uh you'll be receiving so much more okay not only will you be elevated when it comes to your um spiritual knowledge or awareness here okay i feel here in this three 3d world okay um here in this little matrix you're gonna have happiness as well with the nine of cups energy uh that's coming in here now some of you guys i feel like you're doubting this right now that's that anxiety kicking in kick it out okay uh they're saying really tap into what you desire here because it's available to you i feel like spirit wants to give it to you okay um and they're they're wanting you um to do what serves your highest highest self here. Do what serves your highest self and put your energy in a clean, vi high vibrational area here, okay? Also, they're letting me know if you do this, uh, fulfillment and wishes will be granted. So those are those blessings that I'm talking about, okay? They're saying you guys have a choice here as well. Yes, okay. So there's a, possibly a lot of temptation or things that you have to work on in your life. Some of you guys feel fragmented with the devil card coming in here. No worries. They're saying have patience because whatever you're trying to change is going to take time and it's going to take work. Okay. And they're saying don't try to force your will um, because it causes you anxiety here. And it may cause, look at the numbers here, y'all. Y'all seeing this? 16 and 16. Seven and seven is a divine message here. That's what I feel. Okay. They're also letting me know you have a lot of potential as well. Um, and if you just take the take a moment to appreciate yourself here, okay, and not beat yourself down, you'll see uh this they're saying the secrets that you have inside of you. Lord. <laughs> okay, that's what they're that's what I'm hearing here, okay? So, um yeah, I know that that we all have temptations. I have I have them too. <laughs> I'm not perfect, okay? Nobody's perfect. And I feel like some of you guys are trying to uh be some somewhat of a perfectionist here. Some of you. That's not a message for all, okay? But yeah, that's just a part of us being um human here okay that's something else that i'm feeling these temptations that we have to deal with things that may control us whatever those things are okay um that's just a process and a part of us learning here but i feel like with patience okay and you tap it into your higher self your intuition and your spirit guides will lead you in the right place they will let you know what is good you will feel it and you'll decide which side you want to be on which will help you make critical decisions here i hope that gel with somebody <laughs> out there okay um hope that resonated with you guys so you have death and you have five of cups here don't be afraid to let go of fear or let go of the past here definitely that's what i feel with that anxiety card let go of 
the past and release worry. Okay. Let yourself relax. Let's go in and take a look at love for you here, Gemini. Give me the cards here for my couples. We're going to look at couples. Oh, they did that quick. And it came in an upright. So that's how I'm going to pick it up. The devil card. Your relationship may be a factor in what is blocking you or making you feel very fragmented and not put together. Uh, it may be taking you off of your spiritual path as well. So that's something that you may want to address my couples here. Okay. Uh, how your relationship is going. And does it serve your highest self? Okay. And I feel like only you guys can answer that. Does it serve your highest self? And what changes you can make uh, towards the connection? Yeah. They're wanting you to work on yourself. Possibly put your focus into um, your work here. Okay. Whatever you desire to do or be. Okay, that's what they want you to possibly do at this moment. Focus on focus on what you want to grow here with the Eight of Pentacles. And I feel like it, it is surrounding either your job or project you're working on. Um, like I said, with the Goddess of the Moon, you could be a writer. You could be um, into a, a business finance person. You could be a doctor. You could be a nurse, a CNA, something. Okay, but they want you to focus on that. It will... Uh, I feel like it will align you here, okay, focusing your energy more um, on perfecting your skills and enhancing yourself through education or gaining more knowledge here, okay. It will give you motivation to move away from things that may uh, disrupt you here, okay. Yes, and put you on the right path here. So the focus is really on you here, couples, not your partner, okay? There is a situation or something you need to deal with. Some of you guys are dealing with the Capricorn, possibly a Taurus, Virgo, okay? Um, doesn't have to be, but yeah, there's some things you need to clean up with that person. Singles, you have the three of pentacles coming in and ooh, okay someone new or a new situation you're going to possibly meet someone through uh mutual friends with the three of pentacles and the ace of swords here okay um this may be through a casual conversation or um let me see here i'm going to bring out one more card for some reason, it feels like you're going to meet this person through friend, through a friend. It's some water sign or air sign that I'm picking up here. I got earth too, but yeah, um, I feel, yeah, someone's going to confess how they feel about you here. It, you may be friends of friends. This person may be on your social media. Some of you guys know who this is, but I feel like they definitely have interest in you and someone's going to speak up and really um, come towards you with romantic gestures or an invitation. Uh, that's why I said some of you guys may meet this person when you're with friends or through some type of gathering here, okay? That's something else that I'm picking up, so make sure you... Keep an eye out for that here, Gemini, okay? It's either friends or family that you're around. Some of you guys here in, in January. Um, I'm getting deep here, okay? Some of you guys is through an anniversary or party or graduation or something of that m magnitude here, okay, that I'm seeing. I just want to point that out here. Um, but I feel like you click with this person with the Knight of Cups, okay? And I feel definitely that this person um, won't shy off. There's a lot of flirting and uh, with the Knight of Cups cups is like seduction and being very flirty with each other here okay i feel like that energy is definitely going to be um here for you in january okay it feels more towards the end of january but that's the energy um that i'm picking up here mm. <laughs> some of you guys feel like this person connects with you so well that it's like a past life connection for some of you with the knight of cups and the ten of cups coming in Okay, let's take a look at work here. If you have a job and you are searching for a new one, what will the outcome be? Let's take a look. My Gemini's have a job. They're searching for a new one. What will this look like here in January for Gemini? Thank you. Okay, you have the temperance card. 
coming in telling you patience and it's crazy that both of these are here here okay so there may be a downturn or maybe uh some of you guys are struggling to find another position right now at this moment that's why spirit is saying have patience with yourself you're getting anxious about this okay uh but you're going to be blessed on the back end if you take control look how these numbers are matching up so you got 16 and 16 I'm just seeing the numbers here, okay? You have 18 on this card, which is 9, and you have 9 here as well. So, 7, and I've talked about synchronicity. So, the 9 means it's time for you to wrap something up. Only you know what that is, okay? Uh, it could be within you or it could be outside of you, okay? Some external factors that you need to wrap up, okay? Others, you need to address your emotions, okay? Now, uh, you're going to have some competition here. That's what I'm saying, okay, with the Five of Wands. But I feel like if you're looking for another position, it's coming with the King of Pentacles. And it's going to look good. And it's going to feel good. And you're going to have a successful time, okay? So, yeah, there is some competition uh, up against you. It, it may feel like you're not going to be the chosen one. But I feel here, that's why Spirit is saying, have some patience. You already got it. Start to claim it. That's that Law of Attraction energy. Start to claim your position i tell people that all the time even in my personal life they're like i'm worried i might not get it i was like you got the job just stop worrying about it okay just claim it and say it's yours and act as though you have it okay i know if it probably feels a little crazy to do that but putting your energy in the right place um really does help the universe uh bring you in more blessings okay helps you manifest what you're trying to into into reality help you manifest into reality what you really desire if i can get that out right okay so gemini's if you don't have a job here and you're looking for one how would this look for my gemini's three of cups Woo! Why you look at this devil card? Um, all right. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna pull another card for this. The energy feels kind of crazy. All right. But I feel like they're saying to to me that you need to pay attention to. Um, who you're involving yourself with okay for some reason some of you guys are focused more on enjoying yourself i gotta put it out here i love you guys but i got i have to say what's here okay and i'm not trying to boss you or anything like that but there's a lot of good times happening possibly okay for my gemini's that don't have a job and they need one three of cups here okay or you may be taking on things that um it, overpower you you're dealing with something okay um with this devil card coming in and that's something that you have to take a hold of here maybe you need to put your friends on hold put smoking on hold put drinking on hold put partying on hold put enjoying yourself on hold to obtain um a position i feel like they're saying it's time to buckle down that's why you have the nines coming in saying it's time to wrap something up that may be controlling you and causing a lot of disruption in your life here whether that is people you're involved with or your own doing what you're doing here okay all right so if you want to become an art entrepreneur okay Gemini, you want your own business or you're thinking about starting it here. What does Gemini need to know? Ooh. There are possibilities. There's opportunities out there. Put your best foot forward. Keep moving forward here, okay? I feel uh, if you guys are wondering if you will partner up with someone, okay? Some of you guys will be experiencing that or a door will open up for you to do that with the Page of Pentacles energy. Um, I feel like if you're looking to get a contract or sign contracts for some type of business uh, deal or... Um, 
I'm getting building here structures for some reason as well. Okay, if you're thinking about renting out a, a structure or a building that feels almost like something that will happen with the page of pentacles because it's about documents as well I'm getting like flashes of the justice card so it's definitely about documents and binding contracts here okay so pay attention to those things you may be experiencing those things or needing to go over documents and contracts for your business some of you guys are um getting an LLC for your business, okay, getting licensed for your business. And and I feel like definitely the doors are opening up and Spirit is letting you know, yes, you've been patient, you've been working very hard. Those things are coming towards you here, okay. So if you're wondering, will things get off the ground? Yes, but you have to keep moving forward, okay. You have to, yes, through the grind and through possibly haters okay people that are up against you or think that what you're doing is a bad idea you have to have faith and trust in yourself um and trust that the universe universe will provide okay as long as you put the work in yourself here okay so rely rely on you that's what i feel with the seven of wands here and the page of pentacles it's this big uh energy of you relying on yourself and moving um through um trials and tribulations obstacles you may face and people that may not believe in you like you have to be very strong and believe in yourself right now at this moment even when others do not believe in you that is your message here okay let's see what you need to know here gemini what does gemini need to know now into the end of january Sorry that I'm slamming these cards. I got the microphone on. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Your message here, Gemini. Your first one, keeping still. Look, this is uh, a patience card here, okay? There are moments when you need to keep still. They're saying meditation, what we talked about, self-renewal. Self uh, composure keep your your composure detachment okay to get rid of that anxiety whatever you need to detach yourself from self-acceptance um and serenity here okay so find some peace in your life find some moments of um moments of peace okay carve it out and make time for yourself here okay to get still so you can listen to your um, mind okay one more message here for gemini pushing upward look at you growing steady progress gaining confidence accepting challenges a promotion what okay receiving recognition thank you we will take it okay yes all right gemini that is your reading thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading i do appreciate it make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell because i will be back with you take care loves bye